What I'm going to do now is show you how you can easily connect a Google Drive in MX Linux. Now, if you're a Google Drive user, you're probably wondering how to connect Google Drive to your computer. Now, there are a few ways of doing this, and one of the easiest ways of actually connecting a drive is to utilize an ability that the GNOME desktop environment has. Now, if you're not using GNOME as your desktop environment, don't worry, because you should still be able to utilize that ability. So let's jump into the computer and get started. So here I am in MX Linux 21, and I'm currently using the XFCE desktop environment, and I'm currently using XFCE 4.16, which is really easy to use. Now I could actually change my desktop environment to GNOME, but my computer's not quite powerful enough, and if I were to run GNOME on this computer, it'd probably be a lot slower than it is currently using XFCE. So I'm actually gonna install a couple of GNOME programs in XFCE. Now, if you are not using MX Linux, then what you'd have to do is open up your Synaptic Package Manager. And then you'd search for the programs we're about to install here in Synaptic Package Manager. But because I'm using MX Linux, I'll close out of the Synaptic Package Manager and jump into the MX Package Installer. Now the cool thing about the MX Package Installer, if I put in my password correctly. Now the cool thing about the MX Package Installer is that these applications have been vetted and the developers have ensured that these should actually work really, really well in MX Linux. So let's begin. So I'll scroll down this list till I find the network folder and I'll expand that. And there's actually already a program called Open Drive, this one here, which used to work for syncing Google Drives, but lately I've found that it actually hasn't been working. So there's nothing else here that we can use to synchronize a Google Drive. So what I'll have to do is jump into the stable repositories and I'll just wait for the package info to finish downloading. There we go. And then do a search firstly for GNOME online accounts. And these words are separated with a hyphen. There we go. So I'll select that and then I'll go back to the search bar and I'll delete online and I'll replace that with control and we want the control center. So I'll select that as well and then click install. And so these are the programs we're about to install, the GNOME online accounts and the GNOME control center. So if you weren't using MX Linux, then in the Synaptic package manager, you'd be searching for these two programs. Cool, so I'll click okay and that's begun. So this should take a few minutes to install. So I'll speed up this video and then rejoin you as soon as the install has completed. And there we go, that was successful. So I'll click okay and then close out of the MX package installer. Cool, so what I'm gonna do first is jump into Firefox and then I'll go to my drive page. So that's drive.google.com. And then I'll log into my drive. So I'll use Bitwarden to log in. So I'll actually have to enter Bitwarden. And there we go. So I'll just click on this to autofill the password field and then click next. And here I am in Google Drive. So I'll minimize this window. And to connect a drive, all you have to do is open up your terminal and then type in gnome hyphen control hyphen center and that's center with an ER and then space and then type in online accounts. And so this is the application that opens up and this is what we'll be using to connect the Google Drive. Now there's a few other types of accounts that you can also 
connect, but yeah, we're gonna be connecting the Google Drive. But before we do that, I'm actually gonna create a shortcut in my apps menu up here so that I can easily launch this program rather than having to open up the terminal to run this command. So I'll close out of the terminal window. And what I'll do is I'll open up a couple of file browser windows. Here we go. And if you're wondering about the shortcuts that I'm using, I actually covered that in one of my earlier videos. So if you're interested in speeding up your workflow by using keyboard shortcuts, then check out this video here. Cool, so I'm gonna to navigate to File System, User, Share, and then Applications. And then I'll scroll down this list till I find the GNOME Control Center. Here it is here. And what I'll do is I'll right click that, select copy, and then go into my other window and I'm in my home folder. So what I wanna do is actually show the hidden files. So you can either go up to view and then show hidden files or the shortcut is control H. So control H on the keyboard and now my hidden files are showing. So you can tell that they're hidden files because the folders and files all start with a dot. So I'll scroll up this list here and then in the dot local folder, I'll open that up and then click on share and then open applications. And what I wanna do is right click and paste the gnome control center dot desktop file that I just copied. So I'll just right click and paste and there it is there. So I'll now close out of that file browser. And then what I'll do is I'll right click this file that we just copied and then I'll open it up with Featherpad. So Featherpad is just a text editor, so you can open it up with any text editor probably. And so what I wanna do is actually show the line numbers. So on my keyboard, I'll just press Control L to show the line numbers. Or if you go up to options, you just have to check the line numbers or turn it on. But yeah, here's the shortcut, Control L. Cool, so in this file, I'll just scroll down until I reach line 76, that's this one here. So I'm gonna rename this and I'm gonna change it from settings, and I'll just call this Google Drive. Now, although this is actually the GNOME Control Center, I'm renaming it to Google Drive because this is what I'll actually be using the app for. Cool, and then I'll go down to line 84, and it says only shown in GNOME and Unity. Now, I'm not using either of these, so I'll go to the start of the line, and then I'll just put in a hashtag, there we go, and that's now commented out this line. So this line is no longer active in the script. And as you can see up here, there's an asterisk to show that this is an unsaved file. So I'll save this now, Control S to save, and then I'll close out of my text editor. Great, so I can close out of this file browser window as well. And then I'll go up to my apps menu and I'll do a search for Google Drive. And here it is here. So this is what we just created, a shortcut in the apps menu. So what I'm gonna do is actually change the icon. So I'll right click that and then select edit application. I'll just move this to the left a bit. And then I'll click once on the icon and it'll take a few seconds to register and it'll actually open up the icon browser. And there we go. So I'll go up to the select icon from and I'll open up this drop down menu and I'll select all icons. And I'll search for the drive icon. There we go, Google Drive. So I'll select that and click OK and then save. So now if I go up to my apps menu and do a search for drive, here is the launcher. So I'll click and drag this into my Plank dock and I'll just place it in here. Cool, and now I'll launch it. So from now on, I don't actually have to open up my terminal to type in those commands. I can easily launch it from my Plank. Cool, so I'm gonna click on Google And it's gonna ask me to log in. So what I'll do is I'll jump back into Firefox 
and then into Bitwarden. And here is the account that I'm going to use. So I'll go over here to the copy password icon and I'll just click that. And the password is now copied. So now I'll jump back into my GNOME accounts and then enter the account name. Press enter and then paste control V the password and then press enter. And so GNOME Online Accounts is asking to access my Google Drive. So I'll just scroll down here till I find the allow button and I'll click that once. And then what I'll do is I'll turn off all of these except for files. So that's done and I can X out of there now. And so that's now added this Google account to my computer. So what I'll do is I'll close out of there now and I'll minimize Firefox. I'll open up a file browser window and here is the account that I just added. So to actually mount it onto the system, I have to click it once. And there we go. So these are the same files that I have on my Google Drive. So let's see how well this syncs. So I'll go into my file browser window and I'll just right click and create a folder and I'll just call this delete this folder and then click create. And there we go, it's actually updated my Google Drive. Now if I wanted to delete this folder, I'll select it from here, right click it and select remove and I'm removing this from my actual Google account. And then let's jump back into the file browser window and I actually want to reload this so I'll click Control R on my keyboard and there we go my file list has now updated on my computer. Now the thing to remember about this is that these files although I can access them don't actually exist on my computer. Now as soon as I unmount this drive I now lose access to these files. I'll just control H to hide those hidden files again. Now one of the disadvantages of this is I'll remount this drive again. Now one of the disadvantages of doing it this way is that you don't actually have a copy of these files on your computer. So to actually be able to store these files on our computer, we actually have to use a different program.